All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game two here in the losers match, and this is really sad. I want to emphasize though, it is the losers match. So one of these two fine Terrans is uh, gonna get knocked out of this tournament, and I'm, I'm sad to see either of them go. So um, we'll see which of these guys can power through, go to the winners match, or sorry, whether the finals of this group and fight against the loser of Hydra versus Myungsik, which of course will be coming up after this series. I'm Rifkin though, casting again with tonight, uh, joined by Zombie Grub and James, aka, uh, do I call, like, what do you prefer, man? Is it Mal, James, what should I be uh, actually calling you here? I don't actually know. I think, I think Mal is alright. Alright, we'll go with Mal then, I'll try and, I'll try and do that. I'm sorry, it's just I know you as James, right? So it's kind of like, ooh. Uh, but anyways, yeah, Mal joining us on the cast, you've seen him translate for WCS, you've seen him translate for Red Bull. Fantastic guy, and uh, he knows a lot of these players, so it's really cool having him on the cast. But uh, this time, hopefully with an overlay to contribute. <laughs> Yes! I see the resource tab! Nice. And the production! That's all I need! <laughs> Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, spotting in the top left going on a merry-go-round, it's the Red Terran player from Invasion. It's Gumio. You know what Gumio means? God. No? What? God of mech. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, we'll do the introduction first. <laughs> uh, the 6 o'clock position, it's top. I see it's bottom. Oh, oh sorry. Did the, oh. What did I say? Six o'clock. Yeah, I said six o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but these Damn, Riff. But these are top. Get, get your times right. All right. So tell us about Gumio's name, James. What's the What's All the right. down low on this? No, Gumio. Gumio is um, just means nine-tailed fox, and it's uh. Oh yeah. It's from an old legend where there's this fox with nine tails, been living for thousands of years. That, if um, and that uh, that fox turns into a woman at certain nights of the year Ooh. and it needs to eat um what is it a virgin man's liver and if that fox eats like thousand liver or something that becomes like a real person or something it's a retarded scary story i used no, no, to no. uh almost piss my pants as i was a kid so you know, hearing me know. Ari, Naruto. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah all the same thing. Like, Naruto. <laughs> Actually, the League of Legends Ari is exactly it's a the concept is ripped off from the actual Kumio. Ripped off? Lots of things <laughs> in League of Legends are ripped off. I think yeah. I think we're gonna be using that word. It's okay, hard. Yeah. To, it's hard oh, for like perfect originality though. I mean, seriously, Let's crank Everything, everything's a rip off of a rip off of a rip off, right? I mean, if we're gonna be honest. I don't anyone. I mean, right. <laughs> all right. Well, it's a fate I, gambit. I'm just. Saying. What's wow, oh. that's that's like okay. So wow, X Men status, yikes. Um, but all right, so this game we got Gumi Archie going for the Banshees this time, so we're not going to try anything weird, uh, anything too crazy. I mean, the Reapers really hey. did not win him that game. The Reapers contributed nothing to that game. When you said Banshee, I was going to say you don't know that could be a tank drop. Actually. I would love if this was something really weird like a raven, but I mean, come on, it's TVT. Oh, it's it is a raven! A raven. Oh. Why would you say it's weird? Okay, so I was going to say, it's classic TVT. You know, Banshee versus Banshee, we've seen it a million times before, but I love the raven first. For Gumi, I'll play this really defensive. It's free detection. Uh, of course, it contributes to the Vikings later. Like, a raven is not out of the ordinary, but I think a raven is kind of out of the ordinary in context of the way Gumi plays. So that's why I was calling it a bit crazy. But for him to go for a raven is not at all a bad thing to do. Well, the thing is that the fact that he's making a raven, I feel like this is the game he's gonna go full mech. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. Like, if you can keep the raven alive, obviously it's good for point defense drone. If you do like the tank drop, which he's not going to, is his reactor on the factory unless he swaps it off. Oh, it's just swaps off. Okay. So we can still go for like the snooze tank drop. Snooze, you lose. Snooze, you lose. <laughs> Just for the tank drops, the, the Raven's helpful then. And he didn't know the spawn really? positions, but the spawn positions actually work well in his favor for drops. Right, so the other thing too for this, I uh, was trying to keep an eye on Top's vision while he scanned. He actually didn't see that there was going to be the Raven. It spawned like I think three seconds after the scan wore off, so uh, he might just be assuming Banshee for the time being. Going for a Viking first, not a bad thing. He can still snipe away at the Raven, but um, going to be playing a little bit on the defensive side, I guess, since he's Hellions out. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even lose a, a marine for that. Nice. Sometimes, man, marines are really durable, and other times they just flop over like nothing at all. <laughs> it's, I love hate these units. Well, Gumi was not investing in any medevacs, so it's not going to be the drop. It could be very passive uh, play. 
It looks like Top will be pushing out either without Banshees. I mean, you always can, because Stim won't be done for like good another couple of minutes and like any regular TVT, and that means you can usually get away, but <laughs> could easily have someone go for a third CC right now. Oh, no, he does. He's going for the tank drop. He swapped over the uh, starport. He's going for two, uh, two medivacs right now. So two tanks hit Marines, classic stuff. We've seen this work well in many different instances, both Korean and European. I guess my question though is, will this hurt Top? Because he was expecting, I think, a Banshee, he was playing a little bit more defensively. His tank's at home and he's not pushing. Uh, and certainly if a Viking sees this coming soon enough, he'll be really able to position himself. But uh, as you said, Zombie Grub, this is a really good drop potential spawns uh, out of, for Gumiho more so than Top. Yeah. Uh, he probably will be wanting to use the Raven for the Viking War, the one with the auto turrets, to really cement your position. Six, yeah. He'll win this Viking War. Well, actually, they'll both lose, I guess. This no, he'll win now. He's oh, just, now uh, he'll win. Yeah, now shut up. Yeah. yeah. So tanks gonna come down in a pretty nice spot, not too exposed. We're gonna have uh, no need for auto turrets just yet. Oh, is this tank spawns? He might be able to just drop one right on top of it though. No right worries. In yeah. He's gonna wait for the the inevitable push in from top because top can't let him have this position. Top just pushed into the siege tank too, so lost his uh, own siege tank. Guess if he's gonna try and break this, but oh my goodness, that tank is uh, not helping too much. Top's gotta move this forward. SCVs are getting slaughtered, and both the tanks. Oh, oh. the SCVs a hero. <laughs> he's the only one of his kind to survive, and kills one. Yeah, but the drops still going off. Though. The Marines with Gumiho are uh, wrecking. Reckon, reckon, reckon. Uh, these medevacs, of course, don't really have anything to threaten them too much. Vikings on the ground, not in the air. So the Marines going to win out the Marine fight every single time. Good game's going to be called. Sad to see, but Top is going to go out of this tournament first. So Top will be the first player eliminated from the Halo Korean tournament. That's a little bit sad, but at the same time,